then we can just go around and, and introduce ourselves just to let people know who we are and what we're doing about the Gonski Superintendent Schools. Mark Richardson, Summer Middle School Board Chair. Matt Hill, Summer School Board Vice Chair. Hi, Ryan Keller, I am on the Robinsburg uh, City Public Library Committee. Jennifer, I am also a resident on the committee. Mayor Kavanaugh, on the Robinsburg School Board. Caitlin Hyde, president of the Robinsburg Senate. Todd Patton, president of the Senate. Uh, Dave Willis, City Council representative of the program. Uh, Todd Marsh, uh, former school board member. Shelly Levy, President of Rollins School. Dana Rivers, Community Member of Judy Nelson, uh, Rollins Board School President and uh, Rollins School Board Member. Joe Nash, uh, Rollins Board Budget Committee Representative. Jeff Messier, Chair of the Committee in Summerville, President, former School Board and City Council. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, background on the process, I think everybody is pretty much aware of that operating uh, at the same time. Both are withdrawal committees to, with the same charge, to look at all of the information, uh, decide what's best for your particular community, uh, and then ultimately make a plan at the end that, that would go for further approval. So, very, very similar um, processes that you're, you're going through. I think both committees have, uh, they know what the other committee is doing. I was very upfront with both committees, letting you know that public committees, public information, uh, and I share uh, information from all committees to the other committees so you would know what's going on. Uh, and it was all public information, so again, it was uh, um, only for everybody to have. I tried to put down, I, I, I was thinking of a way to kind of simplify this meeting, and I, I hope that I did that anyway. Looking at the possible outcomes, you, you've got a as far as withdrawals go, both of you um, have a pretty straightforward process. Some communities, when they're doing a withdrawal from an SAU, are very complex. You need to, if it's a regional district, you need to physically buy your own school buildings. If you don't have that issue, you own your own school buildings. You have to either purchase out of a, an SAU, you really don't have to worry about that. Uh, in some communities, you have to come up with a plan on what you're going to do with your, your kids, your students, uh, if you separate from a school district. You don't have to worry about that either because no matter what happens, it's not going to affect where your, your children are going to school. That's a separate issue. I keep reminding people that you're talking about the services of the SAU office. That's all you're talking about. So to that end, uh, I tried to list what I thought were, were uh, the possible outcomes. Again, if there's some other outcome that the committee wants to, to explore, they certainly can do that. One of the outcomes is everything remains the same. Both committees could decide at the end that uh, the best possible solution is to leave it alone. Uh, that is one outcome. As far as uh, the other solutions here, if Rollinsford pulls out, if Rollinsford were to pull out, you could kind of, Rollinsford could uh, contract services with another SAU, contract services with the Summersworth SAU, create your own SAU with a part-time staff, or create your own SAU and then have a district administrator uh, for the superintendent services. Uh, and at that point, if that were the case, Summersworth would remain SAU 56, and Rollinsworth would become another SAU, another number. Um, the other Possible solutions are that Summersworth pulls out. If Summersworth were to pull out, they would form their own SAU. They would be another SAU. Uh, and they could allow a contracted service with Rollinsford or with any other SAU. Uh, if any other, not SAU, if any other school district wanted to contract with services, they could do that as well. Uh, and at that point, if Summersworth were to pull out, Rollinsford would remain. And make any adjustments that they, they saw fit. Uh, if either pulls out, then part of the plan would be to identify the options for the other, uh, which 
if you look at this, these are the options. So, you know, if, if one decided to pull out, they would still have to identify these options for uh, the other. This, the uh, state board is going to be looking at that to make sure that both sides are taken care of. They're not going to tell you what to do, but they want to make sure that you have viable options before they approve a separation. Okay? So I thought I'd put those out there because unless you've got a more creative idea on something else, um, those really are the options as I see them. Uh, and I thought that from there I would open it up to committee member comments and allow you to ask questions or go in any direction you choose. I, I guess this is a question, I understand the outcomes, and I guess this is more of a question around the mechanics of the process should either committee decide on a direction. My understanding is that the withdrawal committee here in Summersworth is then to make a recommendation to the city council. Yeah. Uh, it is similar in Rollsford that they make a, rec a recommendation to it would go to their it would go to their voters at the annual meeting. So if that differs a little bit, the process is the same. The final vote in Rollinsburg would end up going to the voters in Summersworth they would come to the city council. And I guess a follow-up question. Um, I, I suppose the sort of the fly in the ointment there is that either committee makes a recommendation, and in our case the city council chooses to disagree with the recommendation, or in Rollinsburg's case, the voters disagree with the withdrawal committee there. And what then happens? This stays the same. You, I, I would imagine that you could go through another process, but my understanding is, and I could ask that question and get some legal advice, but my understanding is that uh, it would remain the same. So it would be up to, you know, if, if, if both committees decide that one direction is the best direction to go in, then it would be up to us to make sure that, that we relay that to the voters or the city council to make sure that that, that, would, that would be approved. And again, uh, part of this process, remember, is to hold a community forum. So if you've got parallel plans, Summersworth is going to have to have a community forum in their own community in Rollinsford, and Rollinsford is going to have to do the same. So that would be an opportunity to state what the committee's uh, thought process was in going through so, the sales pitch. So in that case, I mean, the fact is that these two committees should be working together uh, as opposed to at least not completely independent. We should be communicating. Otherwise, we could both be going in directions that uh, is hurting the other committee or hurting their own committee. And frankly, I don't want to hurt volunteers involved in volunteer, you know, the community. I'm sure they don't want to. Uh, it's whatever's best for both. So I assume this sort of collaboration, this will not be the only one if we want to kind of be on the same page. Am I correct? Yeah, I mean, again, that's up to the committees to decide which way you want to go. But ideally, uh, you know, a lot of the conversations that you're having in your committees are conversations that they're having in the other committees. So, you know, that was that was my thought process when I, I recommended that we get together like this, that I really think that we can have some good discussions and, and ideally come up with parallel plans moving forward. My only comment is at some point the committee that I chair, some sort, is going to have to make a decision which happens is they're going to want to go. I mean, we can talk until the cows come home. They're all we still got to make, we still have to make a decision in our committee where we're going to go. I mean, I don't think there's any consensus yet on which way we're going. We haven't done a straw poll. We haven't done, so we don't know. I mean, I think there is that group within our community that Let's be done with it. Let's let's move on. I'm on the fence. What do you mean by that? Pardon? 
we say in our community there's success on it, let's be done with it and move on. Yeah, again, I can't hear you. Sorry. But that means you need innovative, right? You need to withdraw from the other own. Yeah, I mean, at some point, we've got to make a decision. At some point, again, I can't hear it here. It's too echo. But we have to make a decision. There are people that would like us to break away. There are some that want us to stay. I think that's a fair statement. So I would like to say sometimes I 
well, it's just the SAU services. And that SAU staff drives everything right now. Like down your curriculum, everything, right on down. I mean, our assistant superintendent is in there working with our staff on curriculum all the time. They drive to your climate, and everything drives from top down. It's like any business. Um, so, you know, we keep that in mind and we'll keep these things. And then those other common, you know, there's often conversations about maybe, you know, moms are great school closing, and then potentially having no kids with SAU for these things, but having a say in that type of piece of, you know, direction that drives everything down in our entire educational system, but really would only affect yours in a paperwork type piece, kind of change.
the senior year, everybody was looking at me like I had 10 heads. So that's about my level of involvement with, with the school system. So when I, when the mayor asked me to serve on, on this withdrawal committee, I kind of came in with um, I guess very fresh eyes. I was not terribly involved with the workings of the school department other than the budget piece that I get anxiety over every spring. I'm good you now for a lot of months. Um, <clears throat> but as I sat through committee meetings and as I furthered the conversation out in the community with people, uh, there was this perceived, to use your point, the pain point, uh, the perceived inequity of the number of votes. Now, it's a real one. At least as I saw it, I saw it as a perceived inequity. But that was sort of the big driving force, at least in my view, as to why uh, the notion of forming this committee even bubbled to the surface. This is perceived inequity uh, in the vote. So, uh, if that's something that can be uh, massaged in some way and made more palatable to those that perceive the inequity, I think that would move us a long way in a direction that's perhaps more cooperative and mutual. Well, I sound like Switzerland. <laughs> 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 what, what, what concerns me is, is we, we have you know, just the comment two different animals about our two communities and that uh, these two communities have been next to each other and collaborating longer than that with the last year. But I'd like to avoid that kind of like separation of you know us and them because we do have to collaborate here and work together. Um, I understand the frustration, but at the same time, I understand where Rawls are. You know, if we decide that we're going to have a beautiful new SAU building and everything, they they are going to want to have input if it's in budget. Um, I'm just saying, they're going to want to have input. What you want is contracted services, so take or leave. Uh, or that's the impression you get. Um, where five votes, maybe not. But representative of uh, the budget, personally, I don't have a problem with that. So I think there is area to work with that. Um, I don't want to see some sort of taxpayers hit with what? Did you figure out three dollars or something? Two dollars? No, 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 no. Whatever it was. I'll do some math. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and for anyone who says it's a one time hit, it is not a one time hit. You know, it's like taking a car payment. You know, they keep paying. So, uh, that, that's my concern. Anybody have a guess? Uh, I just want to be there by the way. A couple of things. First, I, uh, I was wondering. Say that having Rollinsford as part of the SAU has compromised the service that the SAU has provided to Summersworth in any way? Well, obviously, when you've got more than one entity, you're dividing your time. I, I wouldn't say that you know it's compromised anything. Has it added a, a level of responsibility and time? Um, certainly. Uh, so you know you, you've got one of the things that Rollinsford has is it, you've got two very very different. One is a large uh, entity, and one is a, a pretty tiny entity. Um, one is is pretty autonomous in, in the way they operate their their school building. Um, however, all of the services at the SAU are still there if, if if they're needed. So, you know that's that's one of the things to consider as well. Which it would still be whether it's a, a, a model that you're talking about or a model Also, uh, on the floor, I just like to say, uh, as someone from Rollinsford, uh, I am feeling in Rollinsford is that having a minority voice uh, on the board is we're flexible on the number of people. I it's a winner takes all system. So whether we have five of them.
to that, I mean, while there is a concern of whether it's fully contracted or it's a little bit what we're doing now, I would think that, let, let's pretend it's, it's 10 on some of worth and, and 2 on problems for to make the math simple. I would believe that the, the board, uh, the, the SAU board members from Summersworth are going to have the same interest as the Rollins for people also. I don't think there's ever going to be a situation where the Summersworth folks are going to think it's really overburdened and that we can really take this advantage to stick it to, to Rollins for to help them build a new building. I mean, the math just doesn't work out that way. So I think it does make sense to, to make the, the relationship of the board a little bit more equitable with, with what we're paying. But I don't think, no matter what those numbers are to what Brian is saying, it's going to have much of an impact either way of, 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 how, of how things come out eventually at the SAE level. So, so there's a couple of short girls there. I'm sorry, the links. That's all separate. It's not really with the SAE. And the SAE building itself is owned by someone's worth. So we don't, yes, we don't pay for that. We have the right, both, both of them, 
Rawls for and Semmelsworth, we have our, we have the right to go in opposite directions. We don't have to be parallel. Um, but if we can get to that point, um, then we should. And I think we do need more communication. Um, and we we'll probably need some more meetings. Um, so I'll, so I'll stop there. Just a, a point of clarification, and again, I, I would have to get legal counsel involved in this, and I, and I hope this is a correct statement. My understanding is that if, if you remain as one SAU, uh, that by RSA, it says that the board members from each community make up the, the SAU board. If you contract for service, it's by contract. So you could have one representative with a voice in certain things, two, five, none. I, the contract. It's by way. contract. So, they, I, I, you know, that's food for thought. Saying my understanding, can you solidify that? Mm -hmm. Yes. That would be something I, I'd like to know. Well, yeah. it's, it's interesting you brought that up, but I was just going to ask that very question. We might come up with the best idea in the world uh, that both groups are sort of on board with, but the state law might not allow us to do that. So I think it's important that we have some clarity. Yeah, I didn't know that was a lot. Yeah, just like that's what yeah. contracts are. Right, right. 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 Everything I've ever seen is a strict contract service and hasn't been. And I think I danced around that issue with one of our meetings because I asked about the formula for how we determine what it is Rawls for contributes to the SEU. I think that's driven by statute as well. It's not yeah. just an idea, it's like, here's how it happens. So to be clear, in order to, for, uh, from what I'm hearing, for it to be a contract that serves, one of the two entities has to vote to pull up. Yes. In order to dissolve the SA, the, the area agreement, one has to make a decision. Because the big question, the final question I'll have is, where do we go from here? Because at some point you got to start to corral and get it in in one of the proposals. So a bit of information from the attorneys is, is my statement and true statement. Do, do the entities have to vote to pull out if contracted is the way we contract and serve is the way we go? The committee that I chair we have a scheduled meeting for Wednesday, so I guess we'll be meeting on Wednesday to discuss where we would like to go, unless we have other things we can get to. So, I don't know if you can get that. The other, the other thing that we could do, if, if this, this group would like, is if we have another joint meeting, I could ask our attorney to be here, your attorney to be here, and answer these questions directly. So, um, what you're saying is if Brownsburg decided to reduce the number of representatives on the SA board from five to whatever, that might satisfy whatever's happening here and then we continue along as we have been versus contracting and having legal aspects involved and a little bit more or maybe a lot more complicated. No, no, I, I, I believe I believe that if you leave it the way it is, With less your, your participation is dictated by RSA. The number of members. Right. But if you were to roll out be the minority, so you know whether we have five or we have two, we're still the minority, so never well, I mean that's true. Yeah, you say so, less is there a minority. Like back in the day when I was on the SAU, there were three. That's because that's because Rollinsford at that point in time only had three board members. It wasn't that they were only seating three in the joint board, they only had three. Now they've got five. And that's RSU, RSA true. I believe so. It's, it's a local decision as to how many board members you have. Yes. But I believe all of those have any board members have to be on the joint okay. I just want to say, you know, I've heard it a couple times now, and I've been devil's advocate this whole time. And if you 
look at the meeting notes, I've been very much devil's advocate. I will say that when you say, well, we still have a minority, that it, you know, it, 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 it comes off uh, not, it, it, it's not as simple as that. It, it is a disproportionate minority that people are concerned about. Uh, disproportionate to how much uh, is being spent or invested um, into uh, the SAU by the long term, and surely it's proportionate based on students. So um, I will say that you know, even though I've been devil's advocate, I personally wouldn't accept staying with five versus the nine. Uh, even though, uh, like I said, I've made the same argument about if everyone votes on some sort of side, and they've made very good arguments to counter that. So, the same. All right. So, a couple of things. One, on your number of members, is that one of the issues that goes before your voters as well? Or does the board decide how many members you have? Well, the feet. If we were to change the number of people, right. we would have to withdraw from the SAU and put forth a proposal to contract that. No, I'm not talking about that. Oh, if, 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 if we stay the way we are, yeah. and you decide to <coughs> increase or decrease your, your board membership, does that go to, to your voters or is the that the Yeah. 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 Would, would, that's what I, that's it would what be I much thought. the same as, as adding a select one in our board. Probably a town that's charter. That, 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 and that's what I thought because that's a time process that's involved. Your voters might say no, we want to leave things the way they are. Same thing on our side. It's a city charter issue. We would have to go back. It's not a city council, so it's not a school board issue. We have to go back, revisit the city charter, have it rewritten, reflect something else, and the voters would have to vote on that. Could be up, could be down, it doesn't matter. More complicated than that, you would have to form a charter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, that's why I said we have to go back and revisit the charter. Yeah, that's and that would be to yeah. another commission. <laughs> and you're calling those things. Again, that, that takes time. I don't time. Fine. Fine. <laughs> the, other, the other question, the other question that I have. Everybody is that. And if Ron's for at any point in time decides, and again, this may not be your folks on the board, this would be your voters, decide that all your kids go to another Especially if they go out of state. They would still have a board. Okay. You don't have to have a school to have a school board. You only have to have students. Well, that's a media thing. If their students all go somewhere else. You just yeah. said they all go to their students. <laughs> you still have to have a school board. Okay, all right. Yeah, you have to be able to approve that the decisions to. You still have a school budget.
contractual, probably on a contractual basis, with uh, something in the contract that will lay out not only money and services, but also we're going to have some representation, at least as long as we have children in the district, um, that kind of contract. So, and, and I think Joe's idea was just to get an idea around the table from both members of both committees how they feel about that. And we have not heard from a few members, so um, I just would like to close the inquiry here, at least from those members, or at least both members. Before we go around the table, is there anybody that hasn't spoken that, that would like to? I guess I haven't spoken. Um, I guess I don't know why we're talking about Rollinsburg even has a contract with the city. Yeah, I don't know why we're talking about the Rollinsburg even have it on the table. So why do we keep talking about the Rollinsburg rate of school closing? Is that hypothetical? I don't, I, I don't, no. I don't, know, I don't know why that has bearing on the conversation mm -hmm. right now. I, I don't know. Anybody else that hasn't spoken with the
the sticking point is really what we're trying to solve here is the number of board members from Rollins for the time. And if it's possible that, the, that it's not really that restricted by RSA rules, that could be any number that the group agrees to. That's what I'm going to that, that to me, it sounds like you don't even need a vote. Well, again, when we come back, if we come back to another joint meeting, I'll get that answer directly. So if I can just go around the table and just a, a, a yes meaning move forward in this direction or a no, uh, you'd like to see another direction just so we kind of have a direction to go. Yes. 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 All right. So I'll get that information again and bring it back next time. Is there any other questions that you have that I can I can try to get answers for before that day? I just want to thank you for helping to facilitate this. I think it's yeah. been very valuable. Oh, thanks. I, I do just want to bring it back from Mark's opening comment about um, there being folks within the city who are absolutely you know, want out and separation. Right. Um, do you believe that Summers work can overcome that as a City um, in order to move forward, or are there? Do you believe that? I just want to understand if it's a non-negotiating. Feel like it's stop there. Then it, it's, stop it's, there. it's not. There's there's two parts to that question. It makes it easier for the residents of Summersworth, but it's up to them. It's up to the city council to decide. They're they're the ones that need to vote on what our recommendation is going to be. And I think there's a there's an easier sell, this is my own opinion, I think there's an easier sell to the city council than there is maybe to the public at large. That's my own I have opinion. a meeting in 40 minutes and I will report out on this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be able to kind of give you my eyeball and vote. <laughs> we need so. Yes, yes. I mean, as any of you know, what you guys are going to decide, it's going to be driven by the public input. And it's really not, neither can you hear it now until we get in front of the community. But again, back to the my opening comment, back to your your, your term, the sticking point of the pain point. <laughs> uh, the perceived representation imbalance has been the noise that I've heard. I've heard nothing else really. So if we can massage that, I think we've moved it the needle in a very positive direction. If I can just one more part to that is we all all of us here in the Southern North Side are up for election in November. So <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's just another little factor in all of that. So. And if I may, I mean, I don't think there's a problem for people. There's no big major groundswell of citizens in reading. Some of us were wanting, I mean, you guys, I mean, I think there is some swell of it that some would like to be changed. I don't think, I don't think yeah, I don't think the same, but I think it would be a larger group of a combination of we want an identity and we want to change versus not a race of spray. So I have a single lesson to say anything. But that is very good. Said it's for what I've heard of many years. Yeah. Well, as long as your road gets plugged, the trash gets picked up. Don't start talking about it. It's a cycle. Oh, it's all going to be a rock. It's all going to be a rock. All right. So yes. with, with that, uh, I've met. Two more questions. Yeah. Actually, a task and a question. Uh, right now, we've got a meeting scheduled for the Summersworth Withdrawal Committee on Wednesday night, and we've got a meeting with the Rollinsburg Withdrawal Committee, I believe, on the 17th. Do we want to keep those two meetings, or do we want to cancel those two meetings and schedule, schedule one joint committee meeting? I just didn't get the reading, so yes. yeah, I, I think that would, that would be my one joint. One yeah. joint. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. Any days that aren't, uh, because I know you're city council, July and August is only one meeting. A month. More important than Empire. Please, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we do have priorities. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is tonight? Monday? Okay. Well, we. The week of uh, June 17th, we want to pick
think that Tuesday the 18th works better for me, but I am an individual. And, and I'll be in Chicago. So I mean, June 18th. Yeah. June 18th, 530. Yeah. And if we can have a nut, can we do it in a, in a room that isn't so echoey? I'm sorry, I'm deaf, but. The gym? Uh, so, <laughs> well, maybe we can get a TV and we can put them so I can read. So. How about the SAU? How about the SAU? I mean, is there? Is it, it's going to be too bad. Yeah. Why don't Why don't we Why don't we plan on the CPC? We'll be here. We'll be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's the walls from the library. No, that's true. I've never been to the walls. Well, anyways, and so don't, don't, don't let, let, let's do it here and I'll tell you the, the room we're going to be in. I'll try to get a classroom. Don't so let my handicap. Who is also a lot of people's not in the CC or watch. Yeah, so you got there before that. So I'll, I'll, I'll find it. Okay. So June 18, 530, here. And I will cancel the other two meetings we have. Perfect. Okay. It works. Yeah. Okay.